Hello everybody, Jonathan with Budget Logistics coming at you here. Uh, we're ready getting ready to, to we're getting ready to start our run from Cleveland, Tennessee to Greensboro, North Carolina. Here we are behind the Tidbit Foods. We are loaded up and we are ready to go. Um, we are running a little bit low on fuel, but we should have enough fuel to make it all the way to Asheville, uh, North Carolina, where we can load up uh, or fuel up, and uh, then we'll be on to Greensboro. So if uh, this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, this is my long haul profile. Um, I'm running the coast to coast uh, map. Uh, it's a mod by Mantrid. I uh, love to run that map. I'm driving a Peterbilt 389. Got a little bit of custom work done on it. When I get up here uh, to my turn, I'll uh, show you the outside of the truck real quick before we get rolling. And uh, I'm leased on to Prime. I'm pulling a trailer for Prime Incorporated. And uh, I just uh, run all over the map here. So let's look outside here real quick. You see the Prime Incorporated on the trailer. This is my truck. And uh, I'll show it to you in the daylight later on. Uh, like I said, Peterbilt 389. Got the big chrome wing on the top. It's black with blue flames. Got my Jolly Roger flag right there, my American flag there, and uh, what's really cool is when you're rolling these flags actually uh, flap in the breeze. So there we go, we're ready to go, so we're getting ready to turn left, and uh, don't see any traffic, I uh, didn't really expect any at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Red here. So we'll be taking US 74 up through uh, eastern Tennessee and into the mountains of North Carolina, uh, going through the Great Smoky Mountains, and then we'll be getting on Interstate 40 in Asheville and uh, taking Interstate 40 east on. all the way to Greensboro. So if you look right over there, you got a uh, Police car, looks like a logging truck turned over, front end loader there. And we got the green light, so here we go. Yep, somebody's had a bad evening. Get those logs up, Get that cleaned up. So before the interstates were built, this US-74 was the main route up to the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina, one of the main routes. Then they built Interstate 40, takes you down through the gorge and uh, over to Asheville from Knoxville. And we're going to be pulling pretty hard here. But it looks like we're going to outpull the Greyhound. I'm going to turn on my high beams here just because uh, the headlights are kind of dim in this game at times. About the time we get to Silva, North Carolina, the sun should be coming up. And you'll get to see uh, how good this map really is with the uh, mountain scenery here. Mantrid does a great job with this map mod. Every time uh, the game gets updated, he updates his map. 
I think we're going to be able to outpull that truck, but we're going to hang out over here in this lane for a second, because right up here there's a reflector uh, on a pole right there in the middle of the road, and uh, that will damage your truck, so we're going to get past that, and then we'll uh, get on over in that right-hand lane. So there we go. And set the jake brake, because we're going to be doing some downhill here. So there we go, it's uh, 5 a.m., uh, right at 5 a.m. on the clock there, so give it about another 30 minutes game time, and uh, that sun will start coming up, and we can see the trees and the scenery, uh, start seeing that pretty good. here we'll be on two lane for a little bit very uh, realistic there uh, they've done a lot of work on this uh, highway 74 across North Carolina uh, making it four lanes but there are still a lot of uh, two lane areas especially up in the mountains <clears throat> You can see the sun starting to come up and kind of see those details a little bit more so we'll get through this tunnel and then uh, just on the other side of this tunnel you can really see those trees and everything So we're going to get through this tunnel, uh, there's a right turn right up here, and then we're going to go through the little uh, town of Silva. And uh, shortly after we go through Silva, we'll be getting on Interstate 40 and heading towards Asheville. And like I said, uh, we'll be getting our fuel in Asheville so we can head on to uh, Greensboro. those headlights back down now got a little bit of light with the sun coming up uh, I know all my AI drivers there are flashing their lights at me uh, and we're gonna open back up the four lanes here and interstate 40 should be coming up pretty soon If you uh, ever get a chance to come to North Carolina, uh, 
come see our mountains come check them out they are beautiful we've got lots of things to see and do up in the mountains great smoky mountains national park we got cherokee got grandfather mountain and uh, if you ever get a chance to come stay in Asheville, um, the Grove Park Inn, I've stayed there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we got Biltmore House, which is the largest privately owned estate in the United States. Um, the main house, I can't remember how many square feet it is, but it does have about 300 rooms and it is open for tours. They also have a winery there and uh, some really good restaurants and a hotel where you can stay and the, uh, the grounds are just beautiful to look at spend time there um, that estate was built by Charles Vanderbilt in 1895 he is the grandson I believe of uh, George Vanderbilt um, big railroad tycoon up, up north uh, built this estate to be uh, Charles Vanderbilt built this estate to be his summer vacation home My wife and I went there one time for uh, the Christmas uh, decorations and everything that they do uh, in December of every year, and uh, it was just really, uh, it was a good time, fun time. Very, uh, very romantic actually. Keep left. Not a surprise to pull into the way station there. Uh, North Carolina does have Easy Pass, but uh, they don't use it, or at least they uh, never used it when I was uh, driving a truck for real. Okay, let's find a new route. So we'll just pull right on up here to the scale. Turn the jake brake off, put it in neutral, take our foot off, and we get weighed 72,463 pounds. Thank you and have a good day. So here we go. So uh, in one of my earlier videos, um, my a bolt came off of the pedal I'm using for my uh, throttle uh, accelerator pedal um, kind of made for an interesting video I'm still using uh, that setup um, if y'all have seen my video trucking on a budget uh, kind of my introductory video where I show you my sim rig um, you'll know what I'm talking about but uh, I'm driving a, a sim rig that I built for right around a hundred dollars I've got a dashboard button box I uh, got my pedals I've got a steering wheel in here that I found at a Goodwill just kind of lucked up and uh, found a Thrustmaster TMX there um, just keep your eyes open you never know what you're gonna find at the flea market or a yard sale or a Goodwill or something like that um, Alright, so I think right up here is our exit where we're going to be getting off to get fuel. Beautiful shot of the river there. I think it actually said Biltmore Estate on that sign back there. Yep, Biltmore Estate. So we could go right and go down to Biltmore. Not sure if it's actually on the map or not. Um, but like I said, I highly recommend you check that out if you ever get the chance. Recomputing. No need to recompute so much. I actually know where I'm going. And they've got a red light, so we're good to go. So we'll just head on up here. So this truck stop actually seems to be a little odd to get into. Uh, you you kind of want to turn in there, but that looks like that would be for cars. Um, so we don't want to do that. Um, so I actually take this little side street here. 
and uh, we'll just kind of button hook on into here make this right and uh, finding a new route caught that curb just a little bit but we'll go back here behind this long red building and we'll turn right into here Looks like I'm kind of going up over the curb. I guess I am, but that's kind of how you get in there. So we'll come over here to the fuel island, get our fuel, head back out. getting fueled up here shouldn't take us but about another 15 minutes or so video time to get to Greensboro and get unloaded uh, we're heading to the Costco over there um, like I said I love using this coast-to-coast -coast map but the, the maps are definitely compressed in this game which is what you want because um, real-world time and if you look at the GPS it'll tell you it takes about three and a half hours to uh, get to Greensboro from here and that would be pretty much real and I'm having a little issue with my keyed ignition here so I'm not sure what's going on with that okay I think it's gonna work fine now All right, so here we go, right around here. So we'll head back out this way and go back out the way we came. Eight oh one in the morning. We'll turn those lights off. I'll find a new route. So we'll be going uh, over Black Mountain here in a few minutes. We're good from the left. Just want to make sure nothing's coming from the right. We're good. So here we go. Oh, he came out of nowhere. Zoom by there. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Pull up here where I can see around the corner of this building. Nothing coming from the left. Oh, nothing's coming from the right now. So we're clear to go. Get in this near lane because that's where we need to be to get on 40 east. So if you just kind of look around at the cars while I'm driving, um, like I said, I'm running uh, several of the traffic packs by Jazzy Cat, um, classic cars, and AI traffic, and the motorcycle pack, and painted trailers, and, and different ones. Um, I'll put links to all these mods in the comments below. Keep left but they really keep left. add to the realism of the game. And make it a lot of fun to play. Turn left. Bulldog. Got the diner and the fast food restaurant over there. We got our green light, so here we go. A little bit of a hazy, foggy day here. Looks like we got some clouds up there. Not sure if it's going to rain on us or not. Okay, let's see.
So we get up here to 65, we'll set the cruise control, and, uh, and then we can look at some of these cars going by like that. It looks like a Ford Fiesta. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. set the cruise control and now we're trucking a little bit all right we want to be over here in this left this uh, right hand lane so we get up to the top of black mountain here they're going to want us to pull in for a brake check the game handles that brake check more like a uh, way station um, so they'll tell us to bypass it probably uh, but up here on top of Black Mountain, every truck is supposed to actually uh, pull in and stop and check their brakes. So we'll, we'll take care of that. We'll just kind of hang out behind him for a minute because like I said we do have to go and uh, do this brake check when we get up here so see there's a sign all trucks next right oh they actually gave me a please pull in this time Greyhound leaves the driving to us. Rerouting. Okay. Not sure why it's not giving me the action symbol there. We're just going to keep on going. While we're sitting here waiting on uh, whatever's happened, we'll look at the outside of the truck in the daylight there. Prime Incorporated. See those uh, flags flying in the breeze there. All right, so that's what I'm driving long haul. Put those parking lights on so you can see that. go and I've got the uh, mod for the mud flaps there with the passing side and the suicide as you can see uh, as soon as uh, as soon as this traffic clears we'll be ready to go if I had enough room I would try to slide in between trucks here uh, to get around this um, should have plenty of time to make the run though and we got six hours and 39 minutes to, to get the load there and only take us two and a half hours so hopefully this won't take too long to uh, clear up and we'll be ready to go no okay y'all can blow your horns all day long that ain't helping nothing my game my rules let's see what we can do Hmm, hopefully that pole's not going to mess with us too bad. Oh, looks like we got a biker that fell down up here. If we can get the trailer right around there. All right, here we go. Hope 
you're going to be alright, dude. Down to Lack Mountain. It's telling me the speed limit's 55 in the real world. I think that's about 35 for trucks. So we're going to keep it about that speed. Got the Jake brake on, helping me out a little bit. Try to stay off the brakes so we don't burn them up. But just in case we do, we actually have a uh, runoff ramp up here. Runaway truck ramp right there. Keep left. No problem. So that was Black Mountain. Get on back up to 65 here. There we go. And that should have us in good shape for our trip to Greensboro. So we'll be heading through uh, Statesville and Winston-Salem. They're not on the map, but we've got some highways to kind of indicate where they're at. Keep left. So we're keeping left. Right here is I-77 to uh, Charlotte. We'll salute to Statesville there. And we'll just keep on a going. It's like a little Subaru that just passed us there. That might be another Subaru. Got a GMC uh, 2500 coming up beside of us here. It's a good looking pickup truck. Tyson Chicken. Probably come down out of Wilkesboro. Taking his chicken to the grocery store. So I don't know, uh, oh look at that, Ford, uh, probably a Ford Focus. Um, so I don't know if any of y'all are uh, NASCAR fans or, uh, I'm sorry, actually that was a Ford Taurus. But uh, if y'all are NASCAR fans, keeping up with iRacing and what's going on in the iRacing world recently, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and some other guys got together, went up to North Wilkesboro Speedway. Uh, made some recording and, and got some data from that speedway and that was recently released on iRacing. Uh, so they're trying to get some interest in North Wilkesboro Speedway. Would love to see that back on the circuit. I uh, remember uh, when I was a kid growing up and they used to run up there. Um, used to love to watch those races. Huge Dale Earnhardt fan. Watched him win there a few times on TV. Keep left. All right. Try to get back around Tyson Chicken here. Our exit's coming up pretty soon. So that's Winston Salem we just went through. US 52 there. All right. So here we 
go. And we're going to do this the right way. One lane at a time. Splinker back on. Do the other lane. And this is going to be our exit in Greensboro, getting us to the Costco. Still a little hazy out here, but we didn't get any rain today. Typical for summer in North Carolina to be a little hazy at times. Humidity's probably up. Keep Coming right. off of the uh, 4th of right. July weekend here. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, unfortunately, the world's a little uh, weird right now thanks to COVID-19. Turn right. All right. So I can turn right on red. Just seeing what that bus is doing right there, and he seems to be sitting still. So here we go. We're going to make a right right up here, right. and this road and will take us right on around to the Costco. Turn right. So, uh, in keeping with my trucking on a budget theme, I am using my PS3i that I got from GameStop for about $3 with a view tracker off of Steam. Uh, that's $15 software that uh, it's working pretty good. It's a little jumpy at times. I had to tweak my settings a little bit, um, but I'm really enjoying it. it. There again, it adds a little more realism to the game. And, It works a lot better than the joystick on the gamepad, I can tell you that. Alright, here we go into the Costco. Finally, we are here. And we've got that first spot right there beside of the General Mills trailer, so we're going to kind of come over here and swing back around here and come up at an angle. And you can hear the train in this game going by. Let's try that again. Now we got our lean out camera. And here we go. Right in around the front of that reefer. So they say I can unload there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to get in here and get straightened out a little bit. Come up here. Just want to make sure that if uh, anybody comes in to pick up that General Mills trailer, that we're giving them room to do so. I'm just trying to be courteous on that. So I'm trying to get straightened up here, get in my space good. Alright. 
So we'll pull on up here a little bit to get straightened up. So you guys feel free to leave me some comments. Uh, if you like the video, leave me some comments. If you have constructive criticism, leave me some comments. If you don't like the video, it'll be okay. We're going to get unloaded here. 291 miles, 9 hours, 21 minutes, 70.3 gallons, $14,822. Alright, please subscribe to my channel, watch some of my other videos, and y'all have a great day.